Welcome to Slain Excel Dragons video number 18. These are the videos that accompany this book and we're still in chapter 5. Hey, uh, we want to talk about what if scenario analysis. We want to look at a, how to uh, use the scenario manager. We'll also see how to customize the quick access toolbar. We're going to go over to our Excel workbook. Excel is fun to start and of course you can download that by clicking on the link below the video. We're on the sheet scenario. Now in the last video we used um, mixed cell references to complete a projected net income statement. Here are our assumptions. In this video we want to see how to create a formula that uses these formula inputs but then save the formula inputs and put new ones in and save multiple sets of formula inputs and we want to see then how to quickly change these without typing them in. Alright, let's create our formula in fast motion here. We did this formula last video. I'm going to highlight all the cells and then the active cell up in the corner. I'm going to say equals that one. I want it locked going down across the row so this whole column uses that January revenue so I hit F4 twice to put the dollar sign in front of the row reference. I don't want it locked here. I want that to move as I go across the column so no dollar sign in front of the column reference times. I click on this. I can do mixed cell references because the labels in the formula table are parallel to the labels in the assumption table. The formula inputs are vertical just like these labels here. I want this one however not locked when I go down because from expense 1 to expense 2 I want this little dancing ants green box to move down so I no dollar sign there. But when I move this direction, I want it locked so the green box doesn't move this way. So I hit, hit F4 one, two, three times. I hold Control and tap Enter to populate all the cells. I Control period to move from corner to corner to get to the diagonally furthest cell away. I hit F2 to, ver two to verify. Perfect. Now, scenarios. Let's just go ahead and highlight these. These are our assumptions. But we want to have three sets of assumptions with the input cells highlighted. And by the way, you can highlight as um, the labels too if you want. I'm just going to highlight the numbers in this case because the names of the expenses aren't going to change. And scenario managers under the data ribbon, data tools, what if analysis, and there it is, scenario manager. Click that. We click Add, and it's simply already looking at these cells. I type set two or whatever. This is the pessimistic, optimistic, or whatever. Set one, click OK. I could edit them here if I want. I don't want to. I'm going to click OK. I could click Add and enter the new values in the um, uh, dialog box. I usually don't. You could do that. I'm going to click Escape and then I'm going to enter them here. This one should be 6%. Notice it's pre-formatted so the percentage symbol pops up. This one is 8. This one is 17. This one is 20. This one is 7. And this one is 15. Now notice I don't even have to have these cells highlighted but if I go up to Data, What If, Scenario Manager, it, and I click Add, it assumes that I'm going to use the same range of cells that I was using before from B14 to B19. Now I'm going to type Set 2. Click OK. I could change them here if I wanted. Click OK. I could add one not from the cells but from here by simply clicking. I'm going to type Set 3. Click OK. And then I'm going to change this to 0 0.07. 0 0.07, 0 0.18, 0 0.22, 0 0.08, and I'm hitting tab each time I move forward. 0.16, tab, and I get my OK. You can easily come up and show any one of these. I'm going to show this one. Anytime you want to show one, you've looked at these, you've analyzed these numbers, you come back up to What If Scenario Manager and click on any one you want and say Show. Another way to do this, if you're doing this a lot, there's a great button we can add. I'm going to add a scenario button so I don't have to go click, 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 right click the quat. Whoops, right click the quat, customize quick access toolbar. 
We saw this before in video one, I think it is. Popular commands is a terrible default. I'm going to say give me all commands. This is all about 1,300 things that Excel can do. I'm going to click in the list and I'm going to hit type S to jump to the S's. And then I'm going to scroll down. There it is, that button right there. I select it, click Add. Now, one thing we didn't look at when we, in video one is we can actually delete or move. Now, for example, I never use save. I use control S, so I'm going to uh, remove. I never use undo because I use control Z. I never use redo, which is undo the undo because I use control Y. How about I, I'm always using increase first, so I'm going to put that at the beginning. I'm always using decrease, so I'm going to put those right next to each other. So, and finally, font, I want to move it up. Okay, so very nice. I have these two next to each other, these two next to each other. I use these all the time, no matter what ribbon I am using. The advantage of the quad is these always show. There's our scenario. I'm going to click OK. The annoying thing about the scenario is I don't know how to add a picture to it. It doesn't even add that nice little green uh, glowing thing, so it's kind of uh, invisible there, but there it is. You can point to it in that screen tip says scenario and no way. Look at this. You set set to and everything changes. Look at that. The the inputs and the formulas, boom, in an, a meeting where you're considering different scenarios or in finance we have um, often use scenarios to analyze different cash flow, sets of cash flows with different assumptions. Absolutely awesome scenarios. All right, uh, next video we'll talk about worksheet, workbook, and 3D cell references. See you next video.